what's called the os coxa or the hip bone. Um, this is one side of the pelvis, and that's actually made up of three bones, right? You remember what those are? Ilium, ischium, and pubis. Right? And then if you add to that the sacrum and the coccyx, then you have the pelvis here. The pelvis. And then we'll go through each of the different bones. The word pelvis means basin. You can see like it's a big basin. And then you have the two S coccyx and then the sacrum and the coccyx. What that does is it attaches the lower limb to the actual skeleton. And then that's going to transmit the weight of the body into the lower limbs. And then also there's some organs in the pelvis that are supported by the hook and the pelvic head. So now we'll talk about the ilium. So that's going to be this top part here. Right? It's a large glaring bone and it has the, the iliac crest. Like if you put your hands on your hips, like people say, even though your, your hip is really down here, but right there you're on your iliac crest. So the part of the ilium that articulates with the sacrum is going to be this articular surface. It's going to be right here. So the, the articular surface of it is kind of an L shape right there. And then you have this surface where the gluteal muscles attach up here. The gluteal surface. So there's four different spines for the ilium. And basically you have two on the front and two on the back. So you have anterior superior iliac spine, which is the ASIS, right here. Right. And then you have an inferior one, so it's the AIIS. So you have ASIS and the AIIS. So that's going to be one of them going to be here, and the other one's down below. Okay. And then those are going to be a lot of attachments for muscles that we're talking about later. And then on the posterior side, you can imagine what you're going to have there, right? You have posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. And then when you're palpating, now this is going to be a pretty good landmark here. You have the posterior superior leg spine easily to hook under under the thumbs. Then yeah. you can have the greater sciatic notch, which is here. Palpation is going to be the ASIS and the PSIS. These two right here. Okay, so then that brings us to Ischium. Okay. And the most prominent part of the Ischium is going to be your Ischium tuberosity. That's basically the bones that you're sitting on. And it's going to be the posterior inferior part of the pelvis. So it's going to be basically down here. All three of the bones meet in the acetabulum. You can see right here, 
so they all meet. So here's going to be the issue in here, and then uh, leaves the pubes here. And then you're going to have this is the ischial spine right here. It divides the pelvis between the greater side of the notch and the lesser side of the notch. And then the greater side of the is part of the ischium, I mean the ilium, and then the lesser is part of the ischium. And then this is one of the landmarks you need to know for palpations from the ischial tuberosity. That's going to be an origin of a lot of the hamstrings. So then that leaves us with the pubic bone. And it's fused with the ilium and the ischium, and then the pubic bone, actually the two pubic bones articulate with each other, and then you have an articular disc right in here, and that's the pubic symphysis. Okay. So that's going to be one of the landmarks you need to know here is the pubic symphysis. And then the other thing is we have this operator frame, and that's this opening right here. Right? That's, there's a membrane that's, that covers that foramen right there, and then there's going to be muscles that come on either side of it. And we'll talk about the operator internus and operator internus. Okay, so then obviously we know that the pelvis are different between males and females. Obviously, the female pelvis is designed for childbearing, so we'll go through some of the characteristics of the differences of it. So the female is tilted more forward, and the true pelvis in here is where the birth canal here. Can you put this in where the sure. is supposed to go? Wow. Or the pelvic brim. Right. So the opening here is going to be bigger in the female pelvis. And then pretty much the opposite types of things are going to be in the male fellows. Okay, as you can see here that the females can going to have a wider opening for the birth canal versus the male. And that's the chart that's in the notes, right? So basically the females is wider with larger opening and the male fellows is taller. 